Well, hey guys, rocking my CRZ yoga tank and shorts. So comfortable. I'm gonna come on in. Still loving the CeraVe hydrating foaming oil cleanser. Duels is a hand wash. Supposed to be a frigid 90 degrees today. Brr. All right, a little hydration station with the glazing milk that I do not hate because, hey, it's actually pretty good, you guys. It's actually pretty good. Like, I've tried a lot of these liquid toners over the years, many great ones. This is upper mid tier, I would say. It's really emollient, too, which a lot of these, ton you know, a lot of toners tend to be more on the hydrating side. This is more um, emollient, softening, smoothing. Then I'm gonna pop on the glazing fluid. You don't really need too much of this. Just a lightweight moisturizer, basically. Last night I finished up this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Cleansing Balm. This was pretty good. Um, I actually prefer this to the CeraVe Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This is, you know, gets the job done, but I find it annoying the way that the label crinkles up. This has a fragrance which I don't like, but I'm willing to tolerate because the product overall does such a good job. Um, so I, I actually prefer this, even though I don't like the fragrance, to this. This is good, but it's a little clumpier. This is a lot smoother and silkier. I'm also almost finished with the Beauty of Josen cleansing oil. This is what, you know, I use these cleansing oils or the cleansing balm to take off my makeup and sunscreen at night uh, before I get in the shower. And that's kind of what I've been using lately a lot. I finished the Banana Boat Protection Plus Vitamins. That sunscreen is underrated. It's a drugstore sunscreen with niacinamide, water resistant SPF 50. I really liked it a lot, but this is another underrated drugstore water resistant sunscreen from Neutrogena. It's their Invisible Daily uh, Face Defense. It too is water resistant. This one is more of a lighter fluid and consistency. So if you have an oilier skin type, you might like this, but it's also pretty moisturizing. It doesn't have any fragrance. Don't forget your neck, you guys. And it is time to empty the dehumidifier. I was gonna kick out of how much water comes out of this thing. Like, it takes about a week to get that much water. And out you go, water the plants. When it comes to moisture, it's definitely a tricky balance because moisture in the air when it drops in the winter, especially with like the heat coming on, it can really dry out your skin. You know, the recommendation is, oh, get a humidifier, get a humidifier. But it's so humid here, especially in the summer, it actually can cause a lot of mildew. And I have found since getting the dehumidifier, it's just a lot less drafty in here and a lot more comfortable. That one from Amazon has been working really well. I've had it for several months now, and it was a pretty good price. Still using my little Kroger mushroom mug, even though I don't get along with the handle, but it's too cute to, to not rock for the fall. Well, this is what I'm wearing around the house today. It is the pink and red color combination to spite my second grade hater, if you will. When I was in second grade, I remember I wore pink and red together. And this gal on the playground was like, you should never wear pink and red together, they clash. And to this day, I will never forget that because sometimes I just go out of my way to combine pink and red solely to spite her for, for that. Because I, I don't know why that just like has been a thorn in my side for years and years. Because to me, pink and red, hello, Valentine's Day, I don't know. And I remember that was the first time I had ever heard the words clash, as in colors clash, like your outfit clashes. And I don't know, little kids with an attitude, that was something that we used to say to one another, like your outfit clashes, don't do this and that, it clashes. All of these like little made up second grader rules about clothing i to this day i like feel like i'm rebelling against those rules of 
of elementary school. But yeah, this is from Walmart and these shorts are from Walmart. They're super comfortable. And my socks also match. They're kind of like, I don't know what color. What brand are these? They're really comfortable for running. Let's put the whole outfit really together though with my matching house shoes. <laughs> Why not? These I live in. Um, I bought these on the Amazonian. They're Vionics. I swear by Vionic slippers. They provide really good arch support. They're super comfortable. They stay on. Yeah. I've been burning the pumpkin bourbon butter candle. So nice. Wow, I just got my Stylevana order in and I thought I would share it with you all. I reordered some favorites and I wanna do a video for you guys on body care products from uh, Korea and Japan. So I ordered some body care products to try out, including this AHA, BHA, PHA, 30 Day Miracle Acne Clear Body Cleanser from Sewn By Me. That's a Korean brand. I've reviewed some of their products. I saw this. It's a acne body spray from Japan that I look forward to trying. I dropped the box when I was unboxing it and it kind of dinged it open, but the bottle is fine here. I'll take it out and show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a spray for body acne. So I look forward to trying that. Then I had to get this because hello, Tweety, I'm a, a huge fan. I wanted to try this because I'm always talking about using an oil for flaky skin on the body or using an oil to remove water resistant sunscreen before you get in the shower to help break up that film. And this looked really promising. It has hyaluronic acid and ceramide. I'm not sure if it has fragrance like most baby oils do. We shall see but I went ahead and ordered that. I also got a Japanese hand cream. I think it has urea in it. It's for um, stubborn callus on the feet and the hands. And I bought this too, which is a urea cream for keratosis pilaris. I look forward to trying that, although it's smaller than I was expecting. Made in Japan. Hyang Kang Yul, a Korean brand I adore, has a softening foot cream that I look forward to trying out as well. So got those. And then this brand, Derma B, I wanted to try. I've never, I don't, I think I may have tried a sunscreen from them a while ago. I can't remember. But I wanted to try this body lotion because y'all know me, I can never have enough body moisturizers. I also got this Heartleaf Acne Zero 3-in-1 Body Wash to try out from Well Derma. It has salicylic acid. It also has tea tree extract, which can be helpful for acne. Um, so yeah, look forward to trying that too. I repurchased the Omi Verdeo UV Moisture Gel. This is a Japanese sunscreen I really like. And I also got this Curel Intensive Moisture Care Body Wash to try out for the body care video. And then I also want to do a video for you guys on um, double cleansing and reviewing some of my, just like a roundup of some of my favorite cleansing oils and cleansing balms. This is a great one, the I'm From Fig Cleansing Balm. I got this in um, one of the advent calendars and it ended up being a favorite. So I reordered that. This is a favorite, the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. I recently finished that, so I got reorders of those. Um, I've tried some Isentree things, and I saw this Yamroot Vegan Milk Cleanser, and it just sounded delightful. So I went ahead and got that. And I have been really happy with Haru Haru's Mineral Sunscreen, so I wanted to try from this Black Rice line, the Cleansing Gel. I reordered two of my favorite Japanese cleansing oils, the Cozy Softimo Speedy Cleansing Oil and the Hadalabo Cleansing Oil. These are some of my favorites. I also got this one from DHC. Um, and then I got this one because I'm currently using this. This is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Cleansing Oil and I really like it. So I went ahead and reordered that. Yeah, that's my Stylevana haul. Um, stay tuned, I may do the cleansing oil video 
um, maybe next month and then maybe November, December do the body care video and let you guys know. But those of you who are watching the vlogs, you know, you kind of get a sneak peek. But this is a favorite um, Japanese sunscreen. It's SPF 50 and it's water resistant. And I love, it used to come in this small bottle, but now it's in this nice large pump. And um, I have recently finished mine up um, over the summer months. So I went ahead and got another one, but I like it because it's not sticky or greasy. It absorbs really quickly. It's a nice formula. Time to wash my makeup brushes. Let's get the spinner spinning. <laughs> um, so I ran into my closet and did a little closet declutter. I don't know if you can see, but I discovered, I forgot I had this cute little, I forgot I had this fall bracelet with these little pumpkins and then I paired it with that Alex and Ani bracelet that I came in my FabFitFun box. <laughs> Why not? Who says jewelry cannot be worn when doing chores? I'm a little behind on cleaning these. I try and do it once a week, but it's been about a week and a half. This is that Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush. I love this thing. It works really well. But these e.l.f. brushes I have had for a couple of years now and they have held up really well too. Like I use this flat eyeshadow brush a fair amount. And I also use this detail crease brush a fair amount too. And the blending brush. All right, just let them dry there and turn him off. This plugs in with a USB. Of course, I just cleaned the sink and now I'm gonna pour this dirty makeup water down the sink. Hopefully it doesn't leave a mark on the clean sink. There. Time to answer some emails. So I wear shorts because they're comfortable, but then if I'm sitting at my desk, my legs get cold. So I take my Walmart blanket and it's as if I'm wearing sweatpants, but I don't have to put pants on. <clears throat> I bought this blanket at Walmart after the holidays last year. It was like on an end cap. I think I paid like $8 for it thinking, eh, I don't know, it'll probably dissolve after four or five washes, whatever, whatever. Oh my gosh. This has withstood the test of time. It's just as soft as when I first purchased it. It has not gotten worn. Even the like stitching has remained strong and intact, like the little seam here, no loosey goosey threads. I've been impressed and I've, I've rocked it all year long. I know it's a Christmas blanket, but who, who's gonna know? Well, you guys know now, but this is my little sweatpants hack when I don't wanna wear pants because I'm wearing shorts, they're more comfortable, but my legs get cold. If only we could just do that all the time. You know, you wanna go run an errand, but you don't wanna put pants on, just get you a Walmart blanket and wrap, you, wrap it around. Which, you know, it's funny, I was watching, oops, it's funny, I was watching Bewitched the other day, which you can watch on one of the streaming services. I love Bewitched. It was like one of my favorite shows. Um, so I started watching it and the first episode is when they go on their honeymoon, like they had just met. It's like the first or the second episode. And they're in this hotel room. He doesn't really know that she's a witch yet and her mother appears and doesn't, you know, doesn't really like him or whatever. So they're staying in a hotel room and the mother appears in the bedroom and he doesn't know that she's there. And the mother starts playing tricks on him. And he's like walking around the hotel room in his pajamas, which back then, like nobody in movies and stuff ever like showed any skin. He's got this super formal robe on, it looks really nice. But the mother plays a trick on him where she, because she's a witch, she turns the main room of the hotel room into the hotel lobby. So all of a sudden he's standing in the hotel lobby in his pajamas and he's like completely humiliated and everyone's staring at him and pointing fingers like, oh my gosh, look at that man in the pajama. And so like people are taken aback. And it's so funny because now no one would think anything of seeing someone out in their pajamas. I mean, you might get a side eye, but like it's commonplace for people to just appear in their pajamas randomly. Not to mention, his pajamas are like formal wear today. 
I just thought it was funny um, how serious people dressed back then. I mean, people used to get dressed up to go to the airport, which I'm kind of glad we've dialed back on that because I, I like to be as comfortable as possible. But I do agree that it's nice to dress nicely and be presentable and not be a slob. I'm gonna try out the new urea cream that I got because I just washed my hands doing all that makeup brush washing and I wanna try it out. Let's see if it has a smell to it. No, a lot of people complain that urea has a strange aroma to it. I've never really noticed that, but this is truly no fragrance, no aroma. Ooh, it's a nice emollient consistency. You know, urea in hand creams is really good for your nails. Um, it's really good, it's especially, it's especially good for like around the cuticle, um, for softening and hydrating that and keeping the nails strong. This is nice. I'm gonna put it on my elbows because they're getting rough. <laughs> I always neglect my elbows. This is nice. I'm glad I got this. Put it on the backs of my arms here. Yeah. It's a nice texture. You know what I need to get back in the habit of? Over the past few weeks, I've stopped doing my petroleum jelly finger hack, where petroleum jelly around your fingers is so good for your nails, or just on your hands in general. As a matter of fact, I really like to put it on my hands uh, when I wake up in the morning, because you know when you wake up in the morning, you have those dried tears, and if you try and rub your eyes, they scratch your skin, and it's really uncomfortable. So what I have taken to doing is when I wake up in the morning, I put a small amount of petroleum jelly on my hands, work it up, pretty much rub it all into my hands, but there's still residue on my fingers. And I take that and gently like do, as I rub my, my mascara off, gently rub like under my eyes to slip that stuff off. That way it doesn't like scratch my eyes. It helps a lot get that off without it being so scratchy and uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, I like this so far on first impression. It's a really nice texture and it's not like sticky. It absorbed pretty nicely into the skin. I'm telling you, Japanese and Korean skincare, they are on another level. If you've not tried Japanese or Korean skincare, you are in for a treat. It's quite delightful. It's, you know, it's much, it's just a, a completely different experience. <laughs> Well, hey guys, my RoboVac is going in the background, not judging. He's just spinning around, sucking up all the dust bunnies and cutting down on those dust mites. Dust mites are no joke. Those little critters, like, if you think about it too much, you'll get skewed out. So let's change the topic of conversation over to pigs because I just watched a documentary on Paramount, Paramount Plus about pigs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. But pigs are very smart. And they take mud soaks. They soak in mud because it helps them cool down and it keeps their skin protected from the elements, including bugs. Yeah, bright little animals. And I didn't know this about a pig, but if you put have a pig go through a maze to find food, the second time it goes through the maze, it remembers the steps that it had to take and it'll get there very quickly. Like, they're very smart. They have a very good memory, which is cool. Retinol, you know, your skin has to convert it to retinoic acid, but it definitely, depending on the formulation, provided it's stable, the product definitely can improve the visible signs of skin aging, like um, age spots, fine wrinkles. And then you also have, as an alternative to retinol, is retinaldehyde. Um, some people call retinaldehyde retinal, just for short, but retinaldehyde, your skin also has to convert it to retinoic acid, but in con yeah, got an eyelash that decided to get in my eye. Don't you just hate that? Anyway, uh, so your skin has to convert retinol to retinoic acid. It takes two steps. Retinaldehyde only takes one step to get there. So in theory, you know, it's possibly works faster. Some people claim that it's more effective, but there aren't actual studies comparing the two rigorous, you know, enough studies to say that for sure. The RoboCop wants to come in here while I'm talking to the guys. And I'm gonna call it quits on this because it's at the, I've been using it for over 12 months and it's, 
you know, probably a couple of weeks over 12 months, getting close to 13 months, and it's best by 12 months of opening. So after you open it, you know, you want to use it within 12 months. I have this much left. I'm going to call it quits, but I love this product. It really works well for me. Um, so that's going to go in there. The Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you're having a great weekend. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.